Hello Kent, it's John and this is your semi-weekly uh, video build report on uh, my laser and my life and all that good stuff. Um, since I talked to you last I have mounted and plumbed uh, most everything. Um, I am sort of in a holding pattern right now. I want to get a... Um, I purchased a little um, amp meter uh, from Amazon that I was going to use to make sure that the um, uh, thing wasn't overdriven and I don't know if you can see Mr. Sense Resistor here but I took one look at that and decided that um, there was no way in hell I was going to run 40 watts through what looks to be about a half watt resistor so I've thought about replacing it with um, uh, several uh, high wattage resistors and hooking it external. Quick uh, search and I found um, uh, there's a store that sells them quite reasonably uh, specifically for laser cutters so I'm going to try that. Um, since I talked to you last I have uh, uh, got the um, uh, 5 volt power is now um, not via USB from the um, computer it's um, its own hacked little um, uh, uh, wall charger that's on the same switch as the main um, power supply and so um, uh, it's all self-contained and as I say it keeps getting um, uh, safer and cleaner. I'm not going to energize the um, laser tube until uh, I've had a chance to um, put in this new amp meter. I still have to um, dig the holes in the front and all that sort of stuff. Um, I have a much more sizable uh, air pump. This thing is um, uh, also from Amazon. It was actually a, a less than 40 bucks. Um, it's a aquaponics grade motor that can drive um, uh, it, it's like eight times more powerful than the little toy that I had. I've got that run to a um, desiccant line and then into my um, this will eventually be um, water in and out and um, my cable bundle is beginning to get um, uh, cleaned up. The um, laser tube again this probably looks scary to someone who bought a commercial grade thing but um, I'm pretty pleased with how um, tightly that's wrapped and uh, how safe I assume the whole thing will be. When I um, turn on the um, pump right now you can hear the um, uh, air pump is not the loudest thing in the world. There is a significant amount of air coming out which I think is going to be enough to um, keep the optics clean but also blow smoke away so that the material itself doesn't get um, burned. Uh, one thing I haven't done, but I'll do for the first time on video, is uh, test my uh, e-stop. Yep, it works. Yay! Nope. Oops. I guess I should have um, uh, done a better protocol. So I, uh, obviously I still have to drill the um, holes here. The um, other notable feature is um, uh, homing and limit switches and again I don't know if you can um, see this but in EMC if I just click the um, home axis it can um, ever so slowly uh, move in until it triggers the uh, switch and then it backs up until the switch goes off and then it moves even more slowly in and the um, LED indicates that um, uh, that it's ready to or uh, that it is home. And now my axis is absolutely home. So just like um, wow, that jog speed's just not enough. As I say, I was able to get. Um, 50-ish um, inches per second, which I'm pretty freaking happy with. 
uh, you can see the ghetto mounting of the um, limit switch. Uh oh, something just cracked. Oh no! Here you get to see the thing completely um, uh, tear up the um, limit switch. Oh, I'm I'm broken hearted. Um, so much, so much for Chinese um, uh, pre-purchase limit switches. Well, damn it. And I had a cute little. Um, cute little adapter with a key and all that happy crap um, and it's all for naught. I don't know if you're going to ever see this or not. Um, anyway, next time you see me, uh, hopefully this thing will be glowing pink and um, cutting things. Um, again, I can't tell if you can tell that the wiring is better or not. But um, Tushar and I are thinking about you. We uh, had a great time at the Raleigh Maker Fair. I'm sure it was um, entirely lame compared to your Maker Fair, but um, we decided that we probably enjoyed our little Maker Fair more than you enjoyed your big Maker Fair anyway. But um, Hope you're happy, hope you're well, and um, I'll send you another video soon. Bye. Kent, I need to make an addendum. I. Um, uh, falsely accused my Chinese colleagues of uh, making an inferior uh, switch. That was wrong of me and I apologize. Um, turns out that the um, stupid Gaijin who assembled this um, uh, rig neglected to um, connect all the ground wires and as you know you leave one ground wire off suddenly your um, uh, limit switch doesn't uh, work anymore. So. Um, Fortunately, I've corrected that problem and um, bent the switchbacks. Uh, it had been mechanically deformed a bit, but I can demonstrate that um, my Y-axis will actually um, uh, properly home under computer control. And I don't know if you can see, but that crooked um, screw sticking out, the crookedness is because I used my hand drill to sink the um, uh, threaded insert to put it in, and I can't... Um, physically don't have enough room to make it straight, but um, I can adjust um, to some degree of um, uh, in or out by, by changing the um, uh, how far that screw sticks out as to where uh, it considers Y to be a stop. So anyway, again I apologize for defaming my um, um, poor beleaguered Chinese buddies. Um, the switch is awesome and um, is working perfectly. Um, again, I hope you're um, happy, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey Kent, yet another addendum. Um, I just wanted to show I've been tweaking the parameters a bit since I made the um, uh, main video. I'm trying to get my, um, back, my, my fast move velocity and of course my um, acceleration as fast as I possibly can. Um, and I'm quite pleased that uh, my x-axis, which was giving me um, uh, trouble before, I, this is the fastest I've been able to run it. And as you can see, there's no um, stutter or pain or suffering of any kind. Um, this is, believe it or don't, uh, 12 uh, inches per second velocity at 80 inches per second squared of acceleration and I think from the stutter at the end of these of, of each of these um, test pieces and the, the repeatability and all that stuff I bet I could run even faster than 80. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if I could get um, well I don't know if I will close to 100 but anyway this thing is significantly uh, faster acceleration um, and I can get this in both X and Y. Um, I can't do much better than about 12 uh, inches per second um, velocity because the old junker computer that I have simply can't generate uh, pulses that uh, that quickly. Um, my steppers are 1 16th microstepping, so it takes 2,000 um, pulses to move an inch, and I just can't um, I can't uh, generate a, a stable signal much faster than 12. Um, uh, kilohertz, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking of a uh, dedicated controller board. I might be able to make uh, 
make it faster than light. I don't know. Anyway, um, having instantly asserted the price of the can of peaches, it stores it in the computer. Um, this marvelous laser. Uh, take care, man. I know you are a scientist, and so you have this irrational need to have everything demonstrated and proved, and empiricism, and yada yada yada. Um, as I uh, was thinking about it, the thing that would be most um, scary is the mass of that whole freaking laser tube uh, jogging back and forth at 80 inches per second squared. Um, so I just wanted to demonstrate that here is the thing running at 12. Uh, velocity 12, um, acceleration 80 in the Y dimension. And I once again have that deliciously smooth uh, quick start, quick stop. Um, and I don't, nothing has slipped, nothing has um, uh, exploded.